2021 SB Live Washington virtual media days due to the continuing pandemic and not being able to cover this sport in person. We're holding them virtually this year. I'm Dan Dickow alongside Todd Millis covering the state, both boys and girls in our previews of the season. We're here with Tahoma High School Lady Bears basketball program coach Pete Smith, as well as standout Hope Hassman. Thank you guys both for joining us. Coach, we'll start with you. You got to enjoy and appreciate the fact that basketball is here now after such a long break. What's it been like for you with basketball right here, right around the corner? Oh, man, we're, we're, we're ready to go. Yeah, we're, we've just been kind of, it's a week away and we, we can't wait to get started and get to, get to be in the court and play some, somebody else in a different color jersey. Um, it's, been, it's been a long 18 months and, and this group, they've been pretty dedicated to working on their own. And getting in, finding time to to get in the gym and get their shots up. So they're they're looking forward to getting to play as well. Hope coach mentioned that you guys and your teammates have found ways to improve on your own, get shots up. Um, what have you done uh, with your team um, to kind of build that chemistry and build that camaraderie to be ready to go? Uh, because it has been such a long wait, and once practice gets going. You've only got a couple of days until your first game is right there. Yeah, so I feel like our team, we already have really good chemistry. Like a lot of us girls are like best friends and we've played together since like the third grade. So over quarantine and over these past couple of months, we've just been finding ways to like either go on runs together, we do that, or like just finding a gym to play. And I'm fortunate enough, we have like a half court indoor gym at my house. so over since the beginning of like March to now, we have girls come over almost every day, every other day just to get shots up and play as a team. So I think that's been really good for like our chemistry and team camaraderie. Pete, you're in a really interesting coaching situation. May not see this the rest of your coaching career where you come into a program with a talented group, a deep group of ninth graders. What's been maybe the one or two behind the scenes revelations coming into a situation like that last year and then moving forward? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's definitely an interesting situation. If you would have told me 10 years ago, I'd be coaching girls basketball. I probably would have laughed at you. Uh, big baseball guy, football guy from Spokane. And I came over here for this job and started coaching C team girls basketball and fell in love with it. I'm fortunate enough to get hired. Uh, so yeah, definitely an interesting situation to fall into, but this group has just been so fun. They work so hard. They make my job so easy. You get to show up, they got smiles on their face and they're, they're ready to work. Like they, they want to work. So if you don't come prepared, uh, they definitely let you know it. So this has been a, a very fun group to get to challenge, get to push them. Uh, and the way we play, I think it kind of fits right into how they want to play the game of basketball. Oh, what's it like being part of this this wave of really, really talented point guards in the in the 2023-2024 class. Yeah, it's a really cool thing how I've been able to like grow up through this like point guards and all these girls that I've played against since probably the third grade. I think like other girls like Malia Samuels and like Rosa Smith, all these girls, like I've played against them since I remember starting club and like just seeing each other like on Twitter. Oh, she got that offer. Oh, like she just scored 30 points in high school. Oh, like I want to watch her highlights. Like it's kind of like building off of each other and seeing each other's successes and making us more competitive as point guards. And just always like, who's ranked that? Who's ranked that? But on side of it, I feel like we're all really good friends still. Like we always see each other at trainings. Like we show up at Bellevue, Seattle Open Gym and we just start talking and acting like we're friends. So I feel like it's a good bond that we've built just being point guards. But yeah, it's really cool to see. Point guards typically tend to be an extension of their coach on the floor, Hope, and many times the best point guards do a great job of studying the game. As you mentioned, watching highlight films uh, of kind of girls in, in your kind of time frame uh, at the high school level. But when you look at the college game or the WNBA game, is there a player or two that, that you like try to focus in on and, and take things from? Yeah, I really, my favorite all-time player is Sabrina Nescu from Oregon. Now she's playing in the WNBA, but I've always watched her. I've always, every year she's on, I always watch the game. And then after the game, I go watch her personal highlights or 
my dad and I record the game and then watch her certain clips. He's like, look at the floater she just did. Look at that pass. Like, look at this play. We're going to run that in high school. Like, all those little things that we break down make me a better player, I think. And just watching pretty, her successes, I always pretty just good. want to make me a better player. Pretty good player to choose. I mean, she <laughs> in amount of triple doubles that she had at Oregon uh, it was pretty impressive. Coach, when you know you've got a dedicated group, but you're looking for a long range kind of philosophy to build your program around um, and knowing you had a winter where you could kind of pick and choose watching full games as opposed to maybe just clips like a normal season. What did you try to focus in on to really kind of fine tune your philosophy this past off season? Right. Uh, so we, we run a very up tempo offense. We run Paul Westhead system. Uh, so we're, we're definitely a run and gun. And so the, our motto has always been run for your teammates. And so being able to, like you said, take that time to dig into some film, probably too much, uh, but dig into some film and, and watch full games, really looking at kids that are running uh, and running for each other, making that extra pass. And that's what we do. I mean, you get a lot of individual stuff here. We, we always say when you pass it, it's got a message on it to shoot the basketball because it means you're open. And so just make that extra pass acknowledging each other and so really looking to dig into that because again we got a bunch of kids that individually are great they're going to do great but we want to do some pretty special things as a program and so to do that we have to do it together otherwise we're, we're going to fail pete this is a program that's kind of arrived on the scene kind of made its mark in the 4a npsl this is uh, this is a team that also is looking to kind of knock kent ridge off i know kent wood's got a good young team too for league supremacy, how much of that is the goal this this season? And then when you kind of look ahead, extended wise, you have a, a nice window here to, to really make noise at the state level. Um, talk, talk about that goal as well, please. Well, Hope and I were actually just talking about this. Last year, uh, we knocked off Kent Ridge, which was awesome. Like Kent Ridge hadn't lost a, lost a league game in, in four years. So good to be a part of that. Jordan was hurt doesn't matter. Okay. We, we got them. And so like, that was, that was a lot of fun for us. Uh, and we got, we got to hang a banner. And so like we tied them for the division title and that's the first banner we've hung in 30 years. And so just taking that step was huge. And so looking to kind of defend that and, and repeat this year is a huge step uh, in the direction of where we want to go. Uh, again, we haven't been to state since things like 1992. Uh, I think that's boys or girls. So just the basketball program here in Maple Valley is definitely on the rise. And so that's kind of our goal. Like that's our challenge. We, we want to get there. We want to reach that. You want to add anything to that? I mean, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. Like us girls, like since we're little, we played TBA and what second grade we've always dreamed of going to the dome, like watching those games. So definitely before we graduate, getting to the dome, getting as far as we can and eventually like winning because we're only sophomores, but yeah, definitely the dome and just winning districts. Hope you guys play an up and down style. So mm -hmm. there's going to be turnovers. There's going to be quick shots. There will be mistakes. One of you or your teammates makes a mistake and coach knows it and he's frustrated. What look does he give one of you guys <laughs> or what message does he give? Well, he usually just does the like hand on the face, like he knows we, we know we messed up, but at the same point, he's his comeback is just run, run back, like <laughs> next possession, which is good about him. He always encourages us. So, can we next see that look? Can we see the look? Usually, it's like, look? Yeah, it's, it's run, run, yeah. let's go. <laughs> that too. Awesome, awesome. Well, last question favorite sports movie of all time for both of you? Start with coach and finish with hope. Oh, that's tough. Like if we're going basketball, it's got to be Hoosiers. But yeah. favorite all time is Bull Durham. Yeah, for me, uh, I would have to say Hoosiers too. That's definitely my favorite. Good one. Awesome. Well, I love it. I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck with health as well as winning basketball games this season. It looks like you're, the future is bright for your program. So for Todd Millis, and myself, Dan Dickow, the rest of the SB Live Washington crew, thank you very much for joining our virtual media day. Thank you. Thank you.